Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to the Utah Macross Gacha video. So finally, I'm getting this video done. I've been sick for the last three days. Horrible flu, giddiness. And thank you guys for all the concern for those of you who were worried. And um, yeah, so finally back in health. Let's check back with Utah Macross because uh, I'm sure some of you who have been following me on the Facebook group or even in my Instagram uh, page, you probably know that you know um, the last update that they did for the month of June. Uh, they did mention there was a brand new um, ticket that was going to be introduced, and yes, the ticket has been um, well introduced with with the start of the second event of the month. So I'm sure most of you guys who have um, probably gone through the event already have already claimed your 10 tickets I'm just gonna show it here um, just for example and of course um, if I ever do need to make you know um, an update video regarding these event tickets um, which are related to the gachas that are currently going on so the thing is we don't really know a lot of information about these tickets a lot of people have been asking on Twitter uh, or even personally to me whether you know these tickets have expiration dates or are they only exclusive to this particular uh, gacha so we're gonna go ahead and claim these tickets right now so you can tell straight away there's only 10 pieces given um, through the mission rewards for the current event so let's go into the gacha page and we'll talk about these tickets um, so I'm sure some of you who have gone through some of the loading screens would have probably noticed this particular screen. So there seems to be three different variants of these event tickets and I think they are only related to the last three events of the month. So the first event of the month which usually features seven star episode plates might not have event tickets such as this because they definitely want to get your money from pulling 7 star episode plates while the 6 star episode, uh, episode plates aren't as important um, so yeah so I'm sure if you have already used the uh, event tickets itself um, you probably would have gotten something nice maybe so I have yet to claim my tickets because it's currently in the present box so let's go into the mission page first and um, there's a main reason why the event tickets are technically kind of important so I did not make um, an explanation video regarding Mirage's wedding challenge here so let's take a look at this so in the initial update post I did on Facebook um, you probably might not notice this particular set of missions right here so as you can tell they have this very distinctive bracket of words there so if you notice the um, katakana carefully it will spell out Milane's name and yes it requires you to have Milane as a center position and of course play the event song or the Tenchi uh, no Egao no okay I'm really bad with this <laughs> kanji but you know it's that particular song that belongs to Min Mei that is uh, in the Do You Remember Love movie end credits so yeah and <laughs> it requires you to have Milan as a center and clear that particular song mirror version 10 times um, then of course there's one here that requires you to have Milan wear her um, what is this costume here? Um, Precious Bright, which is the current event, um, or rather Gacha's costume. So they really want you to pull out, you know, Milane's costume out from her Gacha um, because you can't attain her costume through the event episode plates that's currently going on. So as long as you get episode plates with costume points, and then maybe if you have episode ops you know enough to unlock the costume to clear this mission that will be fantastic um, the other reason is mainly well because they're introducing these new event tickets um, so it's gonna give you a higher chance to try and attain the costume itself so with all of that said um, I guess look forward to a future update video uh, 
confirming all the facts um, on the current event tickets that are going around. Um, we don't know whether there's expiration dates uh, attached to them. Um, and of course, we don't know if each color variant is only exclusive to that particular event itself. So, if there are no um, expiration dates on these tickets, or oh, apparently, hmm. Okay, so this is an interesting thing. So it says here in Japanese text, so it's the yeah, event gacha ticket uh, for the month of June. So they can't carry forward. Mm -hmm. So initially in my mind, I was thinking like if they have no expiration dates, I could just carry over them to the next month. But apparently, no, it's linked to the month itself. So you have to use it within the month itself. So the thing is, these event gacha tickets, you can't use them, I think, in the following events gacha, because they have different color variations. So once you've got them, I think the best choice is just to use them. So <laughs> I, I guess, I guess there really isn't a need for me to create another video. <laughs> Alright, so if my speculations are correct, then I, yeah, there's really no need for me to make another uh, update video regarding this event gacha tickets. So I'll just title this particular gacha video as a tutorial and a gacha video at the same time. So, alright, let's move along. Okay, let's take a look at how we can make use of the event gacha tickets. So there we have my 10 quantity of tickets on hand so before we do things um, you know testing around with this event ticket let's do the usual ritual the free daily pool and of course the free pool from the brand new event gacha itself let's take a look at the luck so at this point of time on the video it's two days after the event started so Hopefully that doesn't really change much of the luck that's been going on for the month of June. Or does time play an important role? Okay, so let's do this. We have a lot of Super Dimension tickets as well. So just pay attention to all the expiration dates. Um, the next one, well, 16 pieces of the tickets are going to expire at the end of this month. So that's kind of worrying. Don't want to, you know hold them for too long and let them go to waste considering that you know the June Bright logins give a lot of the Super Dimension tickets mm -hmm. alright so no Valkyrie animations I think there was a quite a long decent load as well alright let's skip this so yeah it's a pretty rare common episode plate I do really want to get Milane's wedding dress though. It looks very cute. Okay, so aside from that, yes, I do have to save um, for Makina's wedding dress as well. So let's do this. We're gonna tap on the discounted pool. Um, you can straight away use the 10 tickets. It will not uh, make use of the discounted rate. So we're gonna go ahead with um, the 10 event tickets first. And let's touch on the discounted rate. Oh, Ooh, some very slow loading right there. Hopefully that's something nice. Okay. So one Valkyrie, no golden orb. One red box on the first bling. Oh, we do get a rainbow box. So hopefully that is Milane's new episode play. I haven't been seeing many people share Milane's new episode play in the event itself. So I think the pool rate has been quite horrible. Or other people haven't been very lucky. Okay, so I myself did not get Milane's new episode play. But a 5 star episode play nonetheless. Still happy about it. Okay. No episode plates with the costume points yet, so that's kind of a bummer. Oh, I don't think this is a new one. 
yet. It's not new. Oh, wait. Oh, we did get a new plate. <laughs> so there we go. We do get a notification saying that we do get costume points for Milane's wedding dress. Um, it's just that we're going to have to... Oh, there we go. We have that loading screen once again showing the three different variant colors. So probably one for each event. So, hmm. Alright, so let's go on with the discounted pool. Hopefully we get more points for Milane's costume. So I guess Dana really found out um, how often people are pulling for the 6 star episode plates during the events, the 2nd and 3rd and 4th event of the month because they aren't 7 star episode plates and they are not really that essential. Um, <laughs> you know, so I guess they came out with the mechanics of uh, what is it, this horrible luck, like, you know, of you know, event gacha tickets. Okay, more costume points, so that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that red box evolves. Ooh. That's a lot of costume points. Well, it's not the one that we want. Oh well. So, I don't think I have enough costume points to unlock Melane's costume. Hmm, should I spend more singing stones? I mean, there is still, there is still Rankas, Minmes, and Makinas. Um, I definitely can afford one more non-discounted pool, but I would like to keep that for Ranka. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna go into the Utahime tab and take a look. Let's see, do we have enough episode offs? Um, so yeah, these are the few costumes that I've not unlocked yet, so if you guys are just curious. So yeah. Okay, let's see. Where is the costume? There it is. So, with all the points that we have on hand, we've got 250 here. Let's see. Just gonna unlock the costume points. Right. Okay, we've got 100 points here. Oh, 150. Okay, if we include the second, the uh, special board, it's 160. Okay, that's still quite a large number of points required. So let's see, um, episode ops, okay, we have four big ones. Okay, we've got 13. I think we are able, yeah, we should be able to unlock Elaine's costume here. Then we can go ahead and do those Mirage wedding challenge. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I just need one small one after this. Yeah, so there we go. We unlocked Melane's costume the hard way. Yeah, so there it is, Milane's brand new Precious Bright costume. So hopefully you guys understand what's going on with the event gacha tickets right now. So there are three variants and apparently the tickets are linked to the month itself. And it seems like all three colors are going to be linked to all the last three events of the month. Um, which are usually featuring 6 star episode plates and of course it gives us uh, players including the free to play ones who are, those, the, those tickets are exceptionally important um, <laughs> for you guys who are free to play uh, it gives you an extra chance of getting 10 episode plates from the featured gacha itself 
So there is a higher chance for you to attain your waifus or husband those brand new costume and you know, exclusive uh, teacher episode plate itself. So guys, what do you guys think of Melane's brand new episode plate? Which apparently, I think, did I go through the Oh, oh. I did not go through the episode plate information once again. You see, this is what happens when... When you're recovering from an illness, your mind is not there. You're not focusing on what needs to be done. Okay, so let's do this. Ooh, wow. Holy crap. Millions episode plate has one whopping hell of a total high score. 3,952. Dang, that's very high. So well-balanced stats all around. Okay, that, with that stats... I think this episode plate is definitely on a very high end of a must get. Center skill, um, if this diva who is equipped with this episode plate uh, is using it on the you know, Soul or Inochi series song, the total of that character will be boosted by 35% up. As usual, 35% is not the best boost, but you know, it, it could mean something else with its active skill and the life skill. Pay attention to the three other divas who can use this episode plate. And yeah, there it is. So the active skill is the modern version of the 6 star variety. So it's for 5 seconds, your score is boosted by 70% up. Life skill, mode score up. So um, at the start of Cho Uta Hime mode, if you tap good or below or even perfect and above, basically any... Any tap, you know? I, I I guess very good. I don't know what what varieties of taps are there. So there's like miss bad or I think that's just miss good, perfect, and excellent. I think there are only four varieties. If I'm not if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. I can't really remember it on the top of my head. So basically, any kind of tap once you have uh, access to Uta Hime mode, it gives you that 110 percent boost in score. For a short duration because it's only score up, it's not score repeat, you know, that kind of stuff. So yeah, so that's pretty decent um, life skill right there with very good stats on the episode plate. But let's take a look at the last page to finalize our verdict on this episode plate itself. So no special note attachment, so that's kind of a bummer, but you know, with such good stats on this episode plate, um, it's definitely a must get in my books, especially if you don't have a life skill like this in your collection. It's always good to have one of each series uh, out there. So guys, with that said, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about the three tickets, um, three varieties of the event gacha tickets? Milane's episode plate, will you be wailing a bit more for Milane's plate? Because uh, her stats on the episode plates are absolutely wonderful. Or are you trying to get Milane's costume unlocked because you just won those rewards from Mirage's wedding challenge? <laughs> Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below and do all the usual good stuff like share, subscribe, especially for you know information regarding the new event gacha tickets. Share to your friends who are still playing Utah Macross or maybe you try to um, <clears throat> get them to play the game. You know, the game always needs more new players. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for your patience for this video and hopefully you guys are still having fun with the game. I am definitely enjoying the game even when I'm sick because thank god for skip tickets. <laughs> Until then, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!